shocker. The first one, I was told that Paul Woodford was going to come and pick that all up. I was, I was scared about taking penalties. <laughs> the second thing I was going to say was, come and can't be here, be here tonight to collect his award. Either his reason that, or the Witness Protection Programme have moved him away from sexual predators in Spain. Thank you. 
football club um, from youth upwards, which I've actually felt at home. So I want to thank you all for that, and thank you for the memories to come and for the memories of last season as well. So, um, <laughs>
We had the introduction of the web browser by Tom Bernard Lee. Fresh Prince of Bel Air made its British TV debut. And ITV Central was the first to screen all episodes of Prisoner Cell Lock Age. Wimbledon, Stephanie Graf won the women's title. Yes. Beating Gabriel Sabatini, Michael Stich. Yes. Beat Boris Becker. Yes. And the last winners of the All Division 1 was Arsenal. Yes. Just before I go on, I just wanted to read uh, a few names just to bear with me. Uh, Simon Nella. David Williams, Toby Ross, Alan Boswell, Graham Reed, Graham Johnson, Audrey Patterson, Colin Jones, Colin Grant, Tony Woodward, Dick Mahoon, Paul Baker, who you heard earlier, the first Snow World Captains of the Hopper Trophy, Hopper Trophy, Lenny Bruce, Andy McFadden, Roger Taylor, uh, and the late and great David Pook. Surely this guy. We have Joe Rorski and Jason Smith. And my first contact with the club back in late night was a guy called Chris Galley. Um, I spent a hell of a long time on the phone with Chris Galley when I found out that a team that was looking for game players and I just thought, I've got to see this. And when I walked into my first fiber site and met these ordinary guys from all walks of life, teachers, lawyers and candidates and all sorts, they changed my perception about what gay people are in football. They were absolutely brilliant and I think anybody who benefits from this, this club or any of this club owe them a great deal of thanks. I certainly hold you in high esteem and thank you for everything over the past 25 years. I do thank you. Because Without you guys, who on Sunday morning, free call Sunday morning, take the abuse from the opposition, uh, being out of the league meetings, being called faggot, left, right, centre, two foot challenges, elbows, we wouldn't be sitting here today at the Emirates celebrating 25 years of success. We're not celebrating the close friendships that we've made over 25 years here and internationally. So, we wouldn't actually get all the press coverage. ITN, Sky, uh, Big Paper, Game Times, all of us, we wouldn't get that. So, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you guys, and thank you very, very much. And I hope everybody who don't know these guys will come to the after say, were you part of that group that went out there and played in the early days? Thank you very much, guys. There will not be... So thank you very much. So, why was I up in the first place? Right, right. I'm up here to present the Fireside Boat of the Year. And the Fireside, my God, it's been a feisty one. Since taking over, I've had to raise my voice so many times, I've had to stop the games because people are so competitive, which is good in some respects, but in others, when you've got new players coming along and they come and see people like it's not good. But, Fireside, it's the gateway to the club, it's where I came in, and it needs to continue. And the winner of Five Star Play of the Year is Matt Lee. Tony Woodward, Tony McLeod, two fantastic strikers, people like Clark, 
um, and where we were in some difficult situations. And that's where George can pick up the story. So in 2006, um, we were at a crossroads and it was through no fault of anyone, but clubs of 25 years, they evolve and they change and different things happen and we've had superb success and a lot of the people, Chris Worth and that era, they kind of moved on, they were ready to move on and we needed a new era and we found ourselves in a high division in amateur football but we were at the, fair to say, lower end of that. And it was a, a changing of the tide, and it needed someone to come in that was enigmatic, passionate, and ready to take the club, um, the great club, to a different space. But when you've got a great club that's had all those achievements, and then you find yourself on the part at the bottom, then then it takes a real character to step up and say, yeah, I will take the mantle, I will be the leader, I will manage that team. And that's what uh, Najib Armanazi, also known as Eric, did. So in 2006, we were bottom of the league and we had a tour coming up, a tour that was a kind of club-defining tour in Chicago. It was the Gay Games and Eric went there and fair to say to a lot of people that were on the tour, Alexis won't mind saying, it wasn't like the, the dream team, first team squad that we sometimes see now or in previous years. But Eric took that squad and through um, adversity, we went out and we won. And when we won in Chicago, that was where the club changed. Eric then took the club and we had to drop down the league but twice he's now got runners up in the Middlesex County Division 1. Um, he's also won gay games, the, the, the two preceding gay games that followed Chicago. Uh, 